Coalition TV family. Um, hope everyone's having an amazing day. You're making it an amazing day. We are here in Lithonia, Georgia at the Lithonia Art Center with the CEO and founder, Steve Paul. Steve Paul. And you, I'm going to tell you, yeah, I'll give you. <laughs> Uh, you know, I get so excited about this kind of stuff because, you know, it fuels me when I'm talking to amazing um, people like yourself who are doing so much in the community. Um, and every time I'm around you, we have such amazing conversations. In fact, we were just talking about, because <laughs> I had a long day, and so we were talking about, uh, he said, we need to burn some sage up in here, don't we? And I'm like, yeah, and we need to put a, a salt line right, <laughs> right here. And then we took the sage to the salt line, bless that bad girl, bad boy. And then we said, hold up. We need some anointing oil up in here too. Anointing oil and uh, uh, baptized water. <laughs> Is it the same thing, baptized water? Uh, yeah. Is that the same holy thing water. as holy water? Holy water, yeah. We'll Do they use holy water in baptized water? I would think so, yeah. We need to research that. Somebody research that. Yeah. <laughs> so, and you know, which made us talk about how can you put these, because you, I mean, you're, you're an artist, you're a creator. Um, mm -hmm. And these are some amazing um, works that you have that you've done with your comic books. You've got melanin coloring comic books. So, so how do you put all that in there? Matter of fact, I, you know, <laughs> what we're just speaking about and everything with the sage and oil, those are something we do in real life. And it just, uh, those are the type of things yeah. I want to be able to put in these works of arts and everything wow. uh, into the comic books to make them more real, real. And more reflective of who we of are, who we you are. Know, and everything like that. I think that would be that uh, would be dope. And, that, and matter of fact, that's what I want to add to it. So, yeah. I want an autograph copy when you do that, okay? Because this started <laughs> right here, <laughs> right here in the Lithonia Art Center. Oh my gosh! And you know that that would be so cool. Because you're right. I mean, looking at your works. I mean, I mean, this. You are a true artist, 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 and. I mean, looking at your work, and these are your authentic drawings, right? Yes. yes. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, just, I mean, there's so much authenticity here, you know? And to talk about, it brought out, you, when you do your works, what inspires you to write and, and draw and create? Well, um, first and foremost, I, I consider myself more so the artist instead of the writer. I, I just do the writing so I can get it started and get it going oh. in hopes okay. to uh, have someday somebody come in and recognize, you know, yeah. the works and everything and then they want to take it further, you know, for the writing and everything and, you know, I can still be the artist or other artists can jump in and everything like that. But as I got here right now, I have three... Uh, titles that I've uh, done uh, for uh, independent comic books uh -huh. um, and the flagship title which you have in your hand is, is my character Moon, Moon Reflection of the Sun. Wow. So I have three issues of her um, already uh, produced. You know I've, I've done everything from top to bottom. You know normally you know uh, within the comic book world you have a production team and everything. To uh -huh. the, um, uh, it gets broken up, you know, yeah. to the actual duties, what it, what it takes to put a book together. So right. you have uh, the artist, you have uh -huh. the writer, you have the editor, you have the inker, you have the colorist. Oh, wow. So there's so many, um, <coughs> excuse me, extra uh, elements to it. Wow. And, and uh, that's what we call the machine, and that's what companies like Marvel and DC have. You know, they have a machine behind them that actually produce their comic books. So that's why they come out looking, you know, so, crisp, so yeah. good, okay. great, and everything like that. And, um, and but me, I'm doing everything. I'm doing all. Wow. Of, you know. Uh, um, so you're, you're, you're all of, you're the machine. You yeah, are I'm, the yeah. machine. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know, I mean, I, I'm the machine. This so. is machine worthy. This is a one man show right here. Wow. This is awesome. And you know what I love about it, um, that she, Stephen Paul Creations, I mean, this is like the epitome of a bold, strong black woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, confident black woman. You know, I, I think this is awesome. 
I mean, and to see that, that you know, Stephen Paul Creations, that you did this all yourself, too. I mean, the color is crisp. I mean, the soul, the culture, my goodness. Mm -hmm. But even down to the melanin, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's like the verbiage is so true to our culture. I mean, so what, what inspired you to do well, comic books and to draw and all that? What, it, what inspired me yeah. is um, me being on a job and, you know, being stressed out on a job. And I'm like, you know, if I'm going to die for something, <laughs> I might as well die for, you know, something, something you love. That, that I do or that I'm, that I'm wow. good at and everything like that. Uh, but, um, but really, you know, that's just one aspect for real. But really, yeah. the, um, what inspired me is that I... Uh, started to understand that a lot of this, a lot of uh, the works in what we see today with yeah. uh, comic books and the comic books going to the movies and everything like that, we look at the Batmans, the Supermans, Spider-Mans, yeah. all those, and we enjoy those characters. However, at the end of the day, they're utilized for propaganda. They're seeing the message. They have an agenda mm -hmm. behind them. You know, yeah. So, uh, and that's what yeah. the cultures do. So you have uh, you have American comic books, and they spread their agenda for for America and everything. If you ever look at the uh, um, the birth of comic books, it mm -hmm. was utilized for the war. You know, I think it was World War One or something like that. Okay. But if you know fighting Russia, so they would be like showing America beating Russia is to get okay. the people galvanized and get their spirits up to go fight the enemy. So, and, and then, you know, it's the same with every culture because you got anime out there where it's a Japanese artwork. Okay, You okay. know, they, uh, they show their culture within their arts and everything mm -hmm. like that. They're just, it's representation. So, okay. since I have an understanding of, you know, how to put comic books together and everything like that, and, and um, I'm an above average artist that knows how to do that. <laughs> I think uh, so. <laughs> my first thing that I... Um, that I ventured in my life to do was gain knowledge of self. And when I gained wow. a certain amount of understanding of knowledge of self, I was like, look, we have to have more representation in every facet of life. So I'm just doing my part in putting our representation within our books because I always say that we are real life, uh, we're superheroes in real life. Wow, I love you know? it. I love that. We are superheroes in real life. Wow. I like to think of myself as uh, Wonder Woman. But see, you say that. But now I'm moon. You, right. <laughs> I and grew up thinking. Yes, I grew and up thinking of you know, one woman. You're, uh, uh, um, the, the Wonder Woman, uh -huh. cool character and everything, but uh -huh. Wonder Woman was created specifically for that culture of people. Right. You know, the moon is for my culture of people. The moon is for your culture of people. I'm moon. Moon. Mm -hmm. Moon. Moon and that's why you know, when, <laughs> and I'm and I'm not knocking anybody that want to dress up Absolutely like not. you know Wonder Woman, Batman, and everything like that. Right, However, right. the essence of those characters were intensely, you know, uh, initially created for you know their culture and everything. Right. And it's not knocking that. That's cool. You know, everybody has their career and things. You know, uh, but the reason why they didn't start off drawing black characters because they're not black. You know, so why they're drawing. Who they are. Yeah, yeah. It's a representation yeah. of them. Who they are. You know? I got it. And they utilize that to boost themselves up. Right. In the reality of their world. So we have to do the same. Right. But a lot of us don't do not do that. A lot of us are into the comic book world, but right. we only see it through the eyes of, uh, of the person. Wow. Yeah. And so that's, and I, oh, I love that. And that is why, the, after we take this break, I really want to talk about how... So that was the that was the beginning, and that was a spin-off, right? Mm -hmm. And now you said I'm gonna take it from the comic books to the art center. Okay. Because now you want to get rich even more. And so when we come back from this break, I want to talk about that. Because I want to talk about now we spin from this and we evolve, right? Mm -hmm. To the art center where you're gonna reach more more people. So we want to hear more about that after the break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Feeling good inside, inside. Ask 
me why, why? it ain't no surprise yeah. We got the tea, tea. good for you, and me. for you and me Kings and queens, queens. check out Ebony yeah. Cancer, diabetes, STDs and infertility Endometriosis, vaginosis, weight loss and fatigue It's what we do, it's made for me and you It's that rejuvenating feeling, gotta come and get your healing Get your healing, Ebony Are your teeth not living their best life? Well, it might be time to get them rejuvenated. Whether you're suffering from tooth pain, bad breath, have deformities due to an accident, bleeding gums, or just unable to eat due to discomfort, Conyers Denture and Implant Center is here for you. Conyers Denture and Implant Center specializes in a variety of services, including extractions, implants, and dentures. They have the right price and the right fit. With over 35 years of combined experience, Dr. Gordon Fraser and Dr. Benjamin Blackburn have created a unique environment focusing on educating patients on all that dentistry can provide. Once patients are clear on their options, this creates a win-win situation for every patient at Conyers Denture and Implant Center. Make sure to call or stop by today for your consultation. Clear Choice is not your only choice for full mouth rehabilitation. Here at Conyers Denture and Implant Center, we have implants to fit every budget. We provide the best that dentistry has to offer at competitive prices and unsurpassed customer service. So don't let your teeth hurt you this holiday season. Come see us at Conyers Denture and Implant Center. Center here in Lithonia, Georgia, with Steve Paul, who is the CEO and founder of this amazing event space. And so, you know, <laughs> it's so funny because Steve and I was having a conversation because we're both kind of been running a lot today. Mm -hmm. um, always running, running for the mission, running for the call, mm -hmm. running for the vision. And we were like, okay, we need to burn some sage up in here real quick. <laughs> Get a Wusta moment. And I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah, we can do that. And then we just put a salt line right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then what did we say? <laughs> Some healing oil. <laughs> Some healing oil and, and all that anointment. creativity you know and that's what I, and that's what I wanted to do yeah you know, that's that's the effect that I wanted to have and as you uh, something like that okay okay uh, uh, everything I, I created you know I mean even the, the, the concept the words cool. and everything like that um, I can't say Griff was the, the base of you know bringing that out mm -hmm. um, but you know I, like I said I, was part of it, I just Maybe who stole hip hop? Right, right. And it's not really, you know, um, and it's really saying like we all, because those that grew up with hip hop, we came, we, uh, and I say that I grew up with hip hop because mm -hmm. you know, um, I say my age. You know? <laughs> yeah. If you don't say your age, I'm gonna say your age. <laughs> Yeah, you so, can say so, you're in the, the, the somethings, you know, in the, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but, uh, okay, Seven, 78, you know what I mean? So that's around the time Sugar Hill came. Yeah, what, yeah, That's yeah. when hip-hop became national. The know, real hip-hop. You know, yeah, to where the world started to see it. And, you know, so I was born and I grew up with hip-hop and everything. Right. And right. there was a point in time to where everybody felt like hip-hop was, uh, mm. um, you 
you know, uh, what's the word I want to use? Uh, in my head, I'm saying sabotage. Not sabotage, but actually, you know, you know took it over, you know, know um, you know, um, compromise. Ah, you know, the, the, okay, okay, okay. The, um, you know, the companies getting, you know, took, took it over and took it okay. to a whole nother direction. That right. So, they, so who stole hip hop is like, you know, we already know who stole hip hop. Right. I'm just showing the, the the steps of what it took to get hip hop back from who stole it. So, wow. Like so that. that's why I got the shadow government in there, you know. Uh, you know oh. they, this is hip hop and it's just embodied hip hop and they snatch them up and wow. they suck out, you know, just elements of hip hop because hip hop used to be a uh, few elements. You had break dancing, graffiti. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Uh, man, you bring it back, you know, man. Rapping, spinning. You know, you yeah. had these elements. Bean box on the shoulder. Yeah. But then they separated, so now you just have rappers. Right. They don't have all the elements. You know what I mean? So wow. they, it's, it's kind of been. Um, uh, uh, I don't know why diluted. I'm missing my words. It's been diluted. It's been diluted. It has been, it's been fragmented. Uh, what they it's call it? It's been broken that? up. The, what do they call McDonald's? Shattered. Piecemeal. Rap, 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 is, <laughs> rap is like fast food. You know what I mean? It, it, it's, it's been uh, stripped from all of its yeah. ingredients and everything. Like it's like that. going to McDonald's and they don't have any fries. No, it's just like going to McDonald's because there's no real ingredients in the food. Oh, that's... Ooh. It's all processed. That's what I want to do. That's the word. Process. That's it. You know, uh, hip hop has oh, been wow. processed to where they just... Strip, you know, stripped it. And now you only have one, you know, element. You know, you don't have all the natural ingredients that comes with it. So you, you one of the things you said was um, that's really kind of stuck with me is knowledge. Mm -hmm. We know that knowledge is power, and we know that applied knowledge is wisdom. And so that's one of the things that you're bringing to the Lithonia Art Center. Mm -hmm. You're bringing more knowledge. You're bringing um, where individuals including children can apply this knowledge right mm -hmm. to be better to right. be better citizens right. you're allowing the creative space to be used for just bringing out that creativity because we realize and you told me in the, the pre-interview that you realize that art is also healing it's mm -hmm. healing and it's nurturing and it helps people grow and so i really want i mean even like with your melanin coloring book i love it it's something that you can do in the education field so tell me just a little bit more, because there's going to be a lot we're going to put on the website. Like, we're going to put your, your comic books on there, the coloring books, the Melanin Coloring Heroes coloring books. Um, we got to put Moon Woman. Got to put her on there. Yeah. So, um, so we're going to put those things on the, on the website. But I really want you to close us out and tell us, like, what is the vision? Um, what is the mission of Lithonia Art Center as it relates to, okay, the knowledge piece? the wisdom, the healing of art. What do you see for Latonia Art Center? And why Latonia? Well, um, Two part question. Uh, Latonia Art Center is a creative house for uh, creatives to come and feel free 100%. You don't have to uh, thumb yourselves down. And I'm talking, um, it's for all walks of life, but mainly for uh, yeah. uh, our people. Okay because uh, we have been lacking a lot of the resources to, or, uh, a lot of the outlets for us just to be us. Wow. And we have a lot of creatives mm -hmm. and they just need a place to go to just be themselves without having to thumb themselves down, right. without them having to conform to somebody else's ideology or uh, how way of life and how they see things and everything okay. like that, to where we can just fully express ourselves so it's, a, it's somewhat of a creative incubator. Okay, okay. Um, uh, Love it. It's, it's to house um, um, uh, ideas like sipping paints. You know, yes, okay. Uh, because, you know, people want to come and, you know, get the stress of the world off of them. And right. sipping paints are good therapy tools to mm. where you come and you relax, have a good time while you're painting and everything. But I take it to the next step to where you're just not getting just any type of uh, art piece, but you're getting something that's a, a theme that to where when you uh, uh, get this theme, it goes with the occasion, the, the occasion of okay. what's, whatever is going on. Okay. So you're getting something out of it more than just, uh, just a, a painting right. that really doesn't, 
you know, have too much of a meaning. You're just right. pains and everything. Right. I like things that have meaning to yeah. it, yeah. to where you can look at it and, and, and get more out of it right. than just a painting. Right. Um, There's some character in those paintings. Right. Wow. Uh, and, and even with your, um, the book uh, releases that you're going to be doing here and the different, when artists come and you've right. got areas where they could do murals and they really can, that creative space can come. Right, right. I know that you have many rooms in here mm -hmm. that give them that uh, uh, solid, that, that solemn feel, and they're by themselves, mm -hmm. solemn in a good way, where they're right. peaceful, right. that type of, and they, it's quiet in these rooms mm -hmm. where they can go in and they really can think. Right, so yeah, I have space in here uh, that could be uh, rented out for artists to come, because a lot of times uh, you have struggling artists, starving artists, and a lot of times they'll be in spaces to where it's real congested, real small. They got room to, right. you know, uh, expand themselves or anything like that. Or, you know, the environment's too noisy. And yeah, yeah. And you want to just get out, you know, and um, just go to a, a place to where you can feel uh, at peace yeah. while doing your work. Yeah. Um, so this is a really peaceful atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I mean, ever since I've, I've come here to your, to your establishment, and every time I'm here, I never want to leave. I mean, because you it, you truly feel welcome here. Um, you feel the culture, you mm -hmm. know. Um, and I, when, before I leave here, I've already come up with so many different ideas because it's just that way. It's an open, the open room that you have mm -hmm. there. And the people that have rented out the space so far that mm -hmm. I've seen and met, I mean, just amazing individuals too. So they're really utilizing it is a huge resource. So, why yeah. Lithonia, real quick, if you can tell me why Lithonia? Well, Lithonia, um, I, I came to Georgia and um, I was just trying to see where is my best fit mm -hmm. in being in Georgia. Uh, before I came to Georgia, I was living in, uh, I lived in Detroit for two years before I came to Georgia. And uh, it was just, Two years, I was here for two years and I was staying up in Tucker, okay, Tucker area, okay. Norcross area and everything like that, which was cool, you know. Um, mm -hmm. But then um, I got into a relationship that kind of swung me to Arizona. <laughs> and I was like, I got to get back to Georgia. <laughs> So I only stayed out there for like a month and then came back to Georgia. You had a move, <laughs> But then when I came back to Georgia, you know, I didn't have a place no more, but, you know, so I was just in my Jeep and I was like, okay, let me figure out, you know, what's my next move in order for me to sustain move. myself while I'm out here. Yeah. And I saw this, uh, I was just scrolling through Facebook and I saw this video that uh, went viral about how, you know, there's black businesses down here. Oh, wow. And, you know, they're opening up shop and everything and it's just taking this small little town and... Uh, the communities coming together to actually, you know, uh, uh, bring this city back to wow. life and, and uh, a real community of businesses that were looking to change the narrative of how we operate as businesses. Right, right. You know, coming as together black businesses. As black businesses coming together and actually growing in a positive direction. Right. You know, uh, showing our culture in a positive light and actually you know, doing business to where it's added on to us and not, not taking, taking away. away. Wow, yeah, that's what I'm talking <laughs> about. Adding and not taking away. Right. So that was my. Okay. So when I okay. saw that, I was like, okay, that's, that's where, where I, I need to go. Land. Okay. That's where I need to go. And you know, I went there, but it was a Sunday. No, it's either Sunday or Monday, and everybody, was, everything was closed. So I was like, okay, okay. I have to. Uh, Go the next day, so I just slept in my jeep. I, I found a little park somewhere, slept in my jeep until the next day. Then when I came, you know, uh, uh, I went to one of the businesses and that's a true soldier. Introduced myself, and <laughs> everybody know what I was about, you know, yeah. and, and what I could bring to the table, you know, uh, as far as being an artist and everything like mm -hmm. that. Um, and not just any artist, but you know, one that has yeah. representation of us and everything. So that's what I could add on to. And, um, and from there, I, I, I stayed in Latonia. And, and uh, for the first um, two years, um, you know, I don't have, I didn't have, you know, any deep pockets, any money. Right. Like I was just surviving off of selling my comic books and everything. Yeah, right. And, so. 
um, what I did to make sure that I could gain the trust of the community and everything, that I was a real dude, that I wasn't trying to come here and siphon off of anybody mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to take advantage of the situation. You know, I, I put in uh, uh, sweat equity, I patronized okay, okay. You know, the businesses and everything like that. I did what I could do to help as many as I can, you know, and... Um, and that's what your center is all about. Doing yeah, as much that's as you that's can what the center is all about. As mm -hmm. many people. Mm -hmm. And, and your, your center represents unity. Yeah. And it represents collaboration. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. I've mm -hmm. seen that. And I see great things for Life on Your Arts Center. I really do. And, you know, we want to make sure that we get the word out for you. Um, we'll have information on the website. You can also um, go to Facebook and, and search Lithonia Art Center here in Lithonia, Georgia, and you can get a plethora of information that way. Be sure to reach out to Steve Paul. Um, you know, Steve Paul collections are available here. They will be available online. And I'm telling you, watch out. They're going to be available at many bookstores around you, so you better get your copies very soon um, before they are uh you know that price times ten. <laughs> you know, I just like I like what you just said. You know, as far as uh, I might just change it to that. You know, I have it at Steve Paul Collections. Yes. You said Steve Paul Collections. Ah! <laughs> did I just put something in the atmosphere? And you know what? On that note, we need about two or three segments with Steve Paul because he's such an amazing <laughs> person. And our cameraman just said, "Wrap it up." And so we're gonna wrap it up. But um, I tell you, we need about another 30 minutes to talk to Steve Paul. You're going to get more because our permanent set is here at Lithonia Art Center. We couldn't be more pleased about it. We're excited to support uh, this African-American business owner in the local Lithonia community. He's supporting us. We're supporting him. Pay it forward. We'll see you next time.